Hello and welcome back to yet another half-assed video tutorial, but this one is slightly more updated, so I guess it's better. Um, a lot of people have been having issues with the last one because apparently I wasn't thorough enough, or all of you are just brain-dead, mashed potato pieces of garbage, so I'm going to try to explain myself better this time. So, to get started, you're probably going to want to join the Discord. Right here, this has everything you need. Um, you can go into Downloads Releases, this channel right here. And you need Python 3.6 for Discord.py to work correctly. I mean, you can use any... I think you can use any variation of 3.6 or 3.5.4, something like that. I use 3.6.5. Go ahead, click on that. It'll download it. You can do whatever you want with that. Um, once the installer opens, you'll be greeted with something like this, except it'll be Discord 3.6.5. Make sure you click Add Python to Path. It will not work if you don't do this. Once you have Python added to path, simply just open your command prompt, just type cmd into your start menu, open it up, there we go, you just do pip3 install discord and hit enter. If it tells you that it's not a valid batch uh, command or something, either you didn't click add to path or you need to reboot your computer before you do that. So now that you have Python, you can install the bot maker. You can get it from the same place, just click right here, tell me if you downloaded If you've downloaded it, just click one of these reactions here, preferably this one, let's get to 100 reactions, please, okay, thanks. Um, just click on it, it'll download it down here, you can click keep, and just drag that onto your desktop, carelessly. There it is, it requires admin privileges, some antiviruses will pick it up as a virus, it, it's not, I think, I'm pretty sure I made it, so I know, but... Apparently some people tell me I'm wrong and that it is a virus. So, go ahead, you can run it. Click more info, and then run anyway. Here's the program. Um, people have been having issues with smaller resolutions, and, well, simply, I don't give a shit. I'm kidding, I, I actually fixed it, so, you know, you can actually scale it somewhat, and the text should, be, should still be somewhat readable or legible. You can always reset the resolution by restarting it. So, now that we got that, I think before we start actually programming the bot, we need to set up the bot. In Discord, that is. So let's open Google, or whatever browser you use, Google Chrome I use. So let's do um, Discord Developer Dashboard. That's what we need. Let's go over here. This is how it should look like. Click Create an Application call this tutorial bot there you go you can add an icon if you please uh, let's just add Russian bongo cat that's pretty cool am I right alright then you want to go over to the bot tab over here click add bot yes and do it jump off that bridge hell yeah alright uh, here's your token don't share this with other people they can hack your bot then um, Leave all of this here, you can uncheck this, this will make it so only you can add your bot to servers. And this is a permissions calculator, which I will get into in a few minutes, or a few seconds. So, now that we have our bot user set up, we need to actually add it to our Discord server. So, we want to add it to this server. Bots can't actually join servers with an invite link, you have to make an invite link for them. Well, you do this by, let's see, let's go over here into this channel that I made for the video so I don't get spammed the other channels, and let's do, this is the server by, you, it has a bunch of commands here, you can see what all of them do. What you need, well, you can do base link, which will DM you the link right here, it's pretty cool. So, what you do, is so you copy this link. Well, you want to open Notepad first, so let's open Notepad real quick. You want to copy this link right here, paste it right in. There you go. Now you need to fill this in with your own information. So let's go over to the General Information tab and copy that client ID, boy. Just paste that client ID right in over those hashtags. Control V. And if you want your bot to have permissions uh, when you invite it, just go over to the bot tab, scroll right on down, and you can select whichever uh, permissions you want. So I'm going to do administrator, tells you the integer, copy that, 
and just paste it right over those hashtags and that's your invite link copy the entire thing and then well you want to paste it into your thing here your omnibar or whatever the hell they call it these days and there you go tutorial I can't speak again tutorial blog and you can just add that to your server that's pretty cool if you ask me um, alright should be added let's check it out yep there we go there's our bot let's give it the user created bots role so we can use it in here so let's find it uh, I am a blind piece of garbage where, where is it there it is tutorial bot it's offline so to make it online you need to actually program a bot for it so if you're not a complete potato you realize that this is a tutorial on how to program a bot without programming so we're gonna use a GUI that I made uh, it's a complete piece of garbage please don't mind uh, maybe I'll make it better, maybe I won't, depends on how busy I am, but I'll probably make it a little bit better. So, let's open that. Oh, we already had it open, my bad. Let's just open that again so you know that you actually need to click the start button. Believe it or not, some people are pretty dumb and don't know that. So, click that start button, and that's the program. Uh, I'm going to go over some of the features. You got yourself an export, an open, and an import last button. Uh, export is basically save and import last will just import that save from last time up here you got the current selected line you can see which line you're on easy peasy you got your edit line there you go you got your change status name that we'll go over that in a second and you got you got yourself a clock because I thought it was cool so I added it um, yeah I don't care what your opinions are I added a goddamn analog clock alright so this is your total amount of lines in your program and here, if you can't read the font for some reason, because your computer is that brain dead, um, just click that button and it'll bring up a... God damn it, I didn't update the picture. Anyways, this will be updated eventually. Um, Alright, so we can start programming our bot. Uh, if you don't know what these commands do, you can just click the question marks right here. I only added two of them because I'm a lazy piece of shit. And there you go. It'll just give you an example of what the commands can do. There we go. So let's add a simple command because uh, we can. Let's make a command ping because that's like the stereotypical command. Let's make the prefix uh, dollar sign and then ping. The, our return, what uh, what the bot's gonna say back to us, will just be pong. Simple enough. Click the add. And you'll see how it adds it down here. It's pretty cool if you ask me. All right, we want an image return command. So let's just do dollar sign image uh, you can make the prefix anything you want you don't need a prefix it just scans for whatever is in here in the messages and it'll just return whatever the hell you want so we need an image URL uh, what we can do is we can upload bongo cat because uh, that's a dead meme am I right please watch my my videos I have nothing better to do with my life alright so let's get a Russian bongo cat and upload that over here we can right click and copy that link you can paste that image URL right in make sure your image URL ends with a f image file format if it doesn't this will not work and uh, you'll be very sad alright so the caption is just the text that surrounds the image uh, here let's open the example the text will be like right here alright let's just make the caption uh, Ruski Bongo Cat. That's pretty cool if you ask me. I've said that like three times already. Please end me. Let's click add. There we go. It's pretty cool. Censored words. Uh, let's make a censored word. Hello. Click add and it'll censor that word. Now if we want to change the game it's playing. If you don't know what that is, that is uh, over here. Watching or playing. If you want to know how to change it to watching just uh, go on the server and ask for it, I'll help you out, it's really quick. I'm just too lazy to implement it into here, I'd rather waste my time helping 20 different people. So, let's change the status name to Mother Noob. That's, that's I don't know man. You can click edit and it'll add it right over here. If you change the line number, if you deleted the line or something over here, uh, you're gonna have to change this over here to the line number of the await client dot change underscore presence game equals game and name and then whatever you can see the current line number up here once again um 
You can also edit it this way. Let's edit it to capital M just to showcase the breathtaking features of this program. Click edit, and there we go. It edited it. Amazing. All right. Say we want to welcome people. Uh, this will just DM the new person this message. I already have this set up, and I don't need two butts doing it, but you can just do whatever you want. Here, there you go. Click add that if you want. I'm not going to add it because I don't need it. Uh, so we want a random return command. So uh, if you don't know how to use this, click tutorial, or I mean, just watch this tutorial. That works pretty cool too. So we want the command to be, uh, let's just make it Randolph. That's, yeah, that's a good idea. And let's make the random choices. You, you gotta make sure that they're in quotation marks and that they are separated by commas, and that's it, I think. So let's just do hello and goodbye. There we go. You can put a comma at the last one if you want. It doesn't really matter. It doesn't actually affect how the program runs. You can click add command. There you go. You got yourself a random list over here, and that'll just choose one of these at random and send it right over. So, if we want to ping the message author or the author of the command, let's just do uh, ping me father. That's only logical. Alright, and let's make the ping message author return hello, comma, and then what we want, uh, where we want the author's name to be, we're going to do uh, pointy left bracket, whatever you call this, the I guess you could call it the less than greater than sign. Um, you can do at percent lowercase s and then just close that right up and I hit the alt key by accident. Alright, then you can click add and there you go, there's your command. So, you've also got a delete selected line here. You can delete a line I guess, there you go, I deleted it, amazing. You can also add custom code, which is a pretty litty titty if you ask me. You, know, you, you can just put whatever you want here. Um, make sure it's indented proper properly. One indent, one hit of the tab key is equal to four spaces. So just one, two, three, four is one tab. Um, I don't actually want to add any custom code, so we're just going to leave a blank line. Okay, apparently it doesn't like that. <laughs> Alright, that's kind of poorly prepared on my part, I'm sorry. So now that our bot is completely finished, we don't want to add more commands, we can get our bot token. So let's go over to our bot tab. People always get this wrong. They go into general information and copy the client ID. Don't do this. That's retarded. Go to the bot tab and click copy token. Please, for the love of God, stop wasting my time doing this. Thank you. All right, let's go over here. Delete token here because that's not actually going to work if you leave it in there. And just paste your token right in. Click add token. And there you go. It's right there. Now, uh, now that we've finished this, we can save it. An important thing is, you always need the client.run at the very bottom of your thing, at the very bottom of all your commands. If you want to add another command, say, we're going to delete the se selected line. Let's just uh, add a simple command just for the shits and giggles. You can delete these blank lines. Let's add our token again. You only want one of these client.runs, and they have to be at the bottom. I mean, they don't have to be, but you know, you, you kind of want it there. It makes it nicer. Um, now we can go up here, export it. Doesn't want to export, so we're just going to spam the living shit out of it. Normally it works. I'm not sure why it glitches like this. There we go. And it works after like 20 clicks. If it doesn't work, if any of these buttons don't work for you, just spam the living hell out of them. Tab out of the program. Try it again. I don't know. Alright, now we've got our export over here. We can open it up. There we go. That's pretty cool if you ask me. We got everything in here. Um, I'm going to showcase how to import it again, so let's close this program. We can open it right back up, start it up, and then we can import last, and there is our program. It's beautiful. Not really. Alright, so now that we've got our TXT file, we're going to leave it how it is. We don't want to overwrite it because then we can't load it again unless we make another bot export.txt and paste our code in. So what we're going to do is new text document. So, as you can see, it says .txt at the end. If you don't see this, go up to View, and then File Name Extensions. There you go. So, we're going to click F2 to rename this. Let's just delete everything. Let's call it tutorialbot.py. PY is for Python. Click Yes. 
It will not become unusable because you're an intellectual who actually installed Python, hopefully. Alright, let's right click, edit with idle. There we go. Idle should be installed by default. If you don't have it, well, then you done goofed. Or just search your start menu for it. If that doesn't work, well, uh, I don't know what to tell you. Alright, let's open our bot export.txt. We can control A to select all, control C to copy it. There we go, we just paste it right in. So, you can save that. You can double click the file to run it, or if you want to debug it, just press F5 in idle, and it'll just pop up right over here in the Python shell. There you go. Ready, Freddy? That means it's running. Uh, if it doesn't say it's running, but it's actually online, that's just Python being dumb. And if it's online in Discord, then try it out. Works. Cool. Um, let's see. Yep, tutorial bot. It's online. So, we can now... Shit, where to go? Alright, here it is. So, we want to test out these commands. I'm going to move this onto my second monitor so I can know what the commands are because I have the short-term memory of a goldfish, even though goldfish can recognize faces for multiple years, but that's beyond the point. Alright, so, uh, let's see. Let's see what uh, dollar sign ping does. Alright, that worked pretty well. No errors down here, right? Errors are highlighted in red. I mean, that's pretty self-explanatory, but if you didn't know, now you know. Let's do dollar sign image. There you go. There's the caption and there's the image. You can click open an original and it'll open it right up. That's just the Discord feature, not the bot. Um, now, if we type hello, we set it to censor hello. Let's type hello. And hello gets deleted. So, we want a random return. So, let's type Randolph. That's what we set it to. Oh, well, it deleted hello because, well... Here, hello is one of the random choices, but we also censor hello. That wasn't very well thought out on my part, but let's try it again. Let's see if we can get goodbye, because it won't de uh, it won't delete goodbye. Okay, third time's the charm. There you go. Now it says goodbye. Um, let's try uh, dollar sign ping me father. That should ping us if we did it correctly, and it works. He says hello at me. That's me, I think pretty sure it is. Alright, and well, that's pretty much it. Once again, join the Discord if you don't know what you're doing.